One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. It's the 10 Crack Commandments. Why? YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Never fail. Logan Jay's here. Back with another sneaker review. Today I bring a pickup that I ordered from my friend Harry, which I reviewed sneakers for him on this channel a couple times. And he asked me to go for these on the initial release. Was unsuccessful. And then a little after, Ronnie decided he was going to take pre-orders. Now, Ronnie's been known to make certain sneakers be real limited. So the price for resale was really high. I wouldn't say they went up as high as, say, the Satin Ones, which went for thousands of dollars. And then now they re-released, I, I believe, um, they're releasing on October 18th. Today is the 15th. And, you know, they're going for retail or uh, below retail. So, but this was a pre-order. So, people that want them are going to get them. Um, I wanted this colorway. Price was a little bit of a premium. Um, I've been wanting to add a Samba. And then, you know, recently in the past year or so, the Samba has been uh, a little bit more hyped up. It's in the realm of um, the Panda Dunk. You know, it's a classic silhouette. It has its moments, resurgences and whatnot. And so, um, in a way, I was a little happy that I seen my daughter picked it up on her own. She picked up the black with white, um, but all black with white stripes. Uh, I like both the, the traditional black with white stripes and then you have the um, gray and white and black uh, stripes um, and those are the most popular ones and uh, yeah um, I'm thinking I will be trying to add those um, it's great that you can get them at any time and eventually as well I still haven't copped a panda I haven't walked into a mall uh, here in Jersey and seen them on the wall. I seen them in videos. People buy them and or hit on Nike on on the million. I'm gonna exaggerate a million restocks. And um, yeah, I still haven't hit. I always try whenever I know about it or they let me know. And I'm always unsuccessful. Um, right now, could probably do a um, Nike by you and actually get the Panda with a little bit more of a premium. I seen that they're 150, so I can actually get my my own. Panda, instead of it being like what everybody has with the plastic leather, you know, I still want it just to have it because it's more of a classic um, and you can just beat it up and still get that other one and then uh, put a little uh, initials or something on it, which I thought about, but not um, really thought about what I would put on it. Just think of something, you know, instead of it being your regular um, Nike by you, which I bought too. I got the Kyrie and the Dunk and don't mind that they uh, they still got it and you can do any color block that you want right there. And um, another one that I always wanted to do, haven't done it yet, is the Air Max One. Um, seen many dope colorways recently. They did a little bit of a um, a change up, and um, I gotta see. I gotta go in there and start messing with it and see what I do. Enough all that. Uh, let's get into the review already. And the box is fire, as Ronnie has um, done this box uh, already. But, um, you know, this is a Adidas Clark's Kith collaboration. So, you know, and he has this style of art that he uses when he does the Clark's. So it's him and Clark's. And this is just more of a transition using that. And uh, just the nice uh, valley and mountains in the back and your little town and stuff. Just fire and whatnot. And right there, you got your Ronnie Five Clark's, 8th Street, little logo. And then you got the Adidas. Clark's five and some more right there and that says Samba Kith Clark's and you have ID 7297 white green white made in Indonesia and it is a nice sturdy box not like super strong or anything but I like the feel of it and you can see the embossed print right there peeking through nice touch presentation you know this all goes for an experience uh, pre-order, you know, it's sneakerhead's dream, collector's dream right here, you know, um, pre-order any sneaker that, um, one of us, as Ronnie is one of us and became a collaborator and became this big brand globally, you know, tissue paper, it comes heavily tissue papered in here and you got your little sticker action right there. And, you know, I don't know if they're doing any replicas of these, but, um, it's possible because uh, when sneakers are hyped up and high priced, you know, 
even though these were pre-order and you could have gotten pre-order people still want them cheap i don't know you could probably get a knockoff for like half the price i know these were like over 200 i would say no north of 250 dollars american dollars so let's get into the sneakers and here they are Woo! Woo! man ronnie you did it man you like made these people join forces and come out with something you know the power of ronnie you know is undeniable and here is the proof and this right here even though i didn't pick it up i can appreciate it and at the time i'm just like you know harry wants them uh i'm gonna try to get them for him and you know uh, i'll be able to see him in hand and then you know i could decide and um if i want to pick them up through resale market and whatnot as i've reviewed plenty of clark's uh pickups from him and my cousin um you know they're always buying clarks but this is uh, an adidas samba and just fire like i don't know this is up there as a sneaker of the year um arguably uh if i would go for more of a mainstream um releases rather than my preferred uh preference of, of picking a sneaker if i were just to say like where is it at and originality and you know just dealings with it you know it's up there um, it, it could be considered, uh, you know, in at least the top three. It's up there. And did other colorways. He did three. He did like a all green, which looks black, but it's an all green with white stripes. And um, then he did like a uh, like a wheat looking one, more of a traditional uh, Clark's colorway that you would see. But you know, um, and just the whole vibe of the upper of the sneaker screams clarks i don't know how he did it but you know ronnie went in his bag and did it man so that's why this is considered to me a sneaker of the year um right now i at least would put it up there as at number three i really haven't given it too much thought because you know um there's still more sneakers to come out but to be fair and everything you know and from where it went to being super limited to then opening up to being a pre-order and just getting that bag like and really like seeing the number the who knows how many people tried for that and was like wait up um there, there's something here I, I knew it and um i'm gonna talk to them and we're gonna see if we could do this pre-order and, and get these sneakers out get the um the product to the people you know um because there's no point in paying a ridiculous amount of resale and the amount of inquiries to trying to get him and who knows how many comments people were like you know screaming that they come on man you got to do it give it to us and it's good to know that ronnie does um things like this and he is for us you know he is for the people same like teddy stannis they're both from new york from queens you know uh you always got to respect it um and uh yeah uh you got your crep outsole which is from your clarks and you can see the white midsole underneath there just fire it's a nice uh little touch as you can see it then you can see the suede from the mudguard there peeking there and the stripes and the whole, you know, bottom portion of the shoe there towards the back. You have this gray suede. It doesn't have backstroke, but it feels really thick and premium. As, you know, you typically get when you buy Clarks. It's just that Clarks leather. They use that Clarks leather. And then you got your little pieces here so you could feel of what Ronnie samples. And you're like, oh, this is what they put on here. Yeah. And you can see the backside of the leather and everything. So just always... Um, does these collabs executes them great you have this um, I would say like a off whitish um, upper and suede and then you have the off white laces there you have your three stripes in green you have your Samba deep boss right there you got some more of that green leather just nice rich green leather and when you feel it it's super soft uh, on the tongue well these tag this one has the 8th street and then it has the whole adidas clark's five and then you have on the tongue another leather hit the tongue is suede you do have an additional set of white laces you want to change it up like that give it a nice pop and you know because these are like really subtle and just perfect i would stick with these but you know Anybody can change, and that's why he's offered it there. You got your Adidas, Clark's Five, and then it says uh, the brand with three stripes in 
German, and then underneath it said Brian Three Stripes. I don't know if I could be able to show you that. It wraps around there. So just the little details. You got your exposed foam behind the tongue. And the production date, it says 8-23, made in Indonesia. The sock liner is in this leather. It says genuine leather. A little stamp action there. And then you have this other stamp um, in gold. And it says Charles F. Steed, Leeds, England. And there it is. And you can see the logo there. Let you know how official official these are. You have a more of an off-white um, leather there and you can see it says genuine leather stamped right here and you got your whole um, collab logo there and then you have your off-white um, insole as the same color as the the upper so just executed beautifully by Ronnie um, great job and you know here it is fire fire pickup by Harry, you know, always wanting Clarks and, um, you know, went and got the classic Samba. Man, great job, Ronnie. And what would I rate these? I'd have to rate these at least like a 9.5 to me. Um, yeah. The sneakers came individually wrapped and they have the sticky um, crep outsole. And it's best to not keep them next to each other in the box and whatnot, you know. And it took a little bit, not, it wasn't like really stuck or anything. But I had to like really like remove the tissue paper from the outside. It got like a little stuck. So just so that you know what's, what you're working with here. Um, just high quality um, sneaker here. So yeah, YouTube, I hope you'll enjoy this review. It's your boy Logan J and I'm signing out. Peace.